Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Today I have here a very interesting budget smartwatch that is from Diesel. Now I'm not sure if you've heard of the brand before, but Diesel here, as you can see on the box itself, it is a sub-brand of Realme's Tech Life range. So this is the first smartwatch that Diesel is bringing into Malaysia. So today's video, we're going to talk all about this smartwatch right here whether it's worth your money, whether it is a good budget or entry-level smartwatch, you'll find out all about it in today's video. Now, before we begin, of course, if you could just drop a like, sub to the channel, that would be super awesome. All right, let's just jump into the video right away. Now, first up, as you can see here, I already have the box itself uh, right here, but I've unboxed the watch that is sitting on the table. So this box is very small and compact. We do have a couple of feature highlights already on the box itself. Uh, right here, it says that we have a 1.4-inch display. We also have a 12-day battery life. Uh, moving on, it has live watch faces. Uh, moving on to the other side of the box, we have smart AI OT control, up to 90 sport modes. I'll talk about whether that's real or not. And of course, you have your SPO2 and heart rate tracking. All right, so very simple box right here. I'm going to show you the watch itself. Uh, this is the one that I have unboxed. And of course, we also have the charging puck that came in the box. Now, bear in mind that this part here is actually pretty interesting. It has the diesel branding at the back. And how you use it is just very simple. You just put the magnet on like this. Oh, uh, like this. And then you can actually have a pretty firm grip of the watch itself. Very, very simple to use. All right, so let's talk about the watch itself, the diesel watch. Is it worth your money? So first up, let's talk about price. Now, the diesel watch is going in Malaysia here for RM189. And during the Christmas and Christmas Eve, there is a promotion going on that puts the watch at just RM119. So very affordable pricing if you are looking for a budget entry-level smartwatch or maybe you just want to buy a gift for someone. This is something that you might want to consider. Now, let's move on and take a look at this watch itself, the display, how it's built and how it looks like. So this is a pretty much very standard looking watch right here. Uh, we do have a square face on the front. Uh, bear in mind that this 1.4 inch display is uh, actually honestly speaking a little bit small, but you can't really see the bezels because uh, Realme or Diesel is actually very smart to have that all in black. So you don't really see the bezels when the watch face lights up. Uh, apart from that, we do have this very nice silicone straps, which is a little bit thicker than usual. I'm not sure if you like those kind of thick um, straps, but I prefer slimmer ones. Uh, the good news here is that we do have these latches at the back here. That means if you want to swap the straps out, it is super simple. Now, moving on, on the sides here, we do have this plastic casing, which also comes with a button on the side here. This is a navigational button where it's uh, going back. So you have one single button over here. The press feels all right. And at the back, you do have a couple of sensors to track it. Your heart rate as well as your SPO2. Now, done with the design and build quality, let's talk a little bit about how this watch functions. So it's very simple. Let me just unlock it so you can see the watch face itself. Now, if you just drag down from the top right here, this is where you can go into your notifications. And I must applaud uh, this diesel watch right here because although the display is quite small, the fonts actually look fairly large and very visible to me. So I think this is actually a pretty good one if you like to get your TAC codes, your one-time codes on your wrist. Uh, this is, might actually be a very useful watch for that. So just in terms of notifications, that's good over there. Uh, if I just drag up from the bottom right here, this is where I get into the list of applications. Now we do have a couple of basic apps here and in the watch itself, very, very simple. I'll talk more a bit about that later. Uh, if we just glide towards the left over here, we will see the widgets. Now the first page here is actually a quick overview of your entire fitness activity for the day. You have your number of steps, amount of calories burned and all that. If you go on once more, you will actually get into your heart rate. You go once more, you can see your weather. Now bear in mind that this is not an animated image, it's just a static image, but I think it's fine. Uh, over here, you can actually see the bezels pretty well. So this is how it looks like. Now if you go on once more, uh, this is where you get into the last page where this is actually the music control, so you can control your music of your smartphone directly on your wrist. Very simple stuff. Now, if you just glide towards the right over here, we do are able to access the quick shortcuts. We have your do not disturb, your brightness, your battery saver, your race to wake, as well as the settings button. Again, very, very simple stuff, but it's good to have on the diesel watch. Now, let's talk about what this watch can actually track in terms of your health functions. So this watch here, again, is like I said, it's an entry-level smartwatch. So there's actually three items that the watch here tracks. First up, you have your all-day heart rate tracking. Second, you have your SPO2 tracking. And last but not least, you have your sleep tracking. So again, it's a very simple uh, smartwatch right here. It only tracks these three items, which I think is fine. At least it has your SPO2 readings since we are in this kind of uh, COVID era, right? All right, so in terms of the activities being tracked for this watch, I noticed that on the box here, it says up to 90 different activities or 90 sport modes here. But at the moment on this watch right here, I only have 10 different activities that I can see 
here, I'm going to show it to you very quickly. So if you go here, you can see that we have your outdoor runs, your outdoor walks, uh, a couple of cycling runs again, uh, your football, and yeah, that's just the list that, uh, of activities that you have in the watch right now. For more activities, you can find them in the Realme Link app. Once you're in the app, you can then choose to swap in different activities that you prefer to be shown on the watch. Bear in mind that by default, the watch can only show 10 activities. Now bear in mind that although this watch is IP68 rated, notice that we do not have swim tracking in the watch itself. So that's just something that I would like to highlight in case you are a swimmer. Now moving on to the final point right here, let's talk a little bit about battery life. The diesel watch here is said to be able to last up to 12 days of battery life on a single charge. Now based on my personal use, I think the more logical or the more realistic number would be approximately seven to eight days. And I think that is still pretty impressive considering the amount of limited features that we have on this diesel watch watch right here. Alright, so at the end of the day, this watch again, like I mentioned, is going for RM189 or during the promotion period is only RM119. If you are able to get it for RM119, I think this is actually a pretty good uh, smartwatch that you can consider getting if you are looking for an entry level kind of smartwatch. Of course, if you are looking for more features, you might want to wait for something else or maybe look elsewhere. But yeah, for a price of 119, I think it is fairly decent uh, over here. Diesel is also running a promotion that you can find on their Facebook page. I'll put the links down below if you want to find out more about that competition. But otherwise, I think that this diesel watch here is actually a pretty interesting uh, buy. I'm glad that Diesel has actually brought this into Malaysia. It always gives us more options and more choices to, to look for when we are looking for that budget smartwatch. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about this Diesel watch here. Uh, is this something that you might actually get? Is this something that you are considering? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!